insane facts about Batman. Personally, Batman has always seemed the most realistic superhero, if you can use that phrase. It almost seems like he is simply a bored man with way too much money. Whether you call him the Dark Knight or the Caped Crusader, this superhero has captured the hearts and minds of people across the globe for generations. Artist Bob Kane and writer Bill Finger are the creators of the original character. Batman's fame came from his comic Batman released in 1940, but he first appeared in Detective Comics No. 27 in 1939. Batman's first well-known TV performance appeared in the 1966 TV show simply named Batman. This ran for an astonishing 120 episodes until it stopped in 1968. His first TV appearance was actually in 1943. Batman has been around the block, over the years, he has had an array of love interests including Julie Madison, Catwoman, Vicki Vale, and of course Batwoman. In order of appearance, the actors who have played our beloved Batman are Louis G. Wilson, Robert Lowry Adam West, Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer, George Clooney, Christian Bale, Will Arnett, and the last, and in some people's opinions worst, Batman is Ben Affleck. In IGN's 2011 list, Top 100 Comic Book Heroes of All Time, Batman was only picked to the top spot by co-star Superman. The role of Batman in the 1989 Batman blockbuster was actually offered to various other stars prior to Michael Keaton, including Pierce Brosnan, who couldn't play the part due to his opinion of the hosiery-clad hero. In Batman Forever, the 1995 hit, Michael Keaton was actually supposed to lead, but Val Kilmer was given the opportunity when Michael simply demanded too much money. John Doe 297 is actually the online handle used by Bruce Wayne himself. The fear-mongering city of Gotham actually landed its name simply from the writer randomly choosing a jeweler's named Gotham Jewelers in a telephone directory. Frank Miller is generally credited with restoring Batman to his old gritty self with The Dark Knight Returns. This was a four-issue series published in 1986, where an aged Batman comes out of retirement, joined by a new Robin, to clean up the streets of a Gotham run amok. Over the years, Batman's main rivals have been the infamous Joker, the Riddler, the Penguin, Poison Ivy, the Scarecrow, and the lesser-known Mr. Freeze and Clayface. The superhero's real name Bruce Wayne is actually a combination of Robert the Bruce and Mad Anthony Wayne, a Scottish and American revolutionary hero respectively. Kevin Conroy, the man who has played Batman the longest, has starred in about 31 different versions including games, animated series, and TV series. The infamous Catwoman costume from the 1992 film, which initially seemed as if it was painted on, was actually a vacuum-sealed costume. The actor, Michelle Pfeiffer, said she only had a small window to act before it unsealed. Bus ads containing Catwoman promoting the Batman Returns blockbuster were actually stolen to such a degree, that security teams were dispatched to ensure they stayed in their correct locations. Jason Todd, Tim Drake, Stephanie Brown, and Damian Wayne all played Robin through the years. In one series of Batman comics, Bruce Wayne and Catwoman actually got betrothed and had a child, the Huntress or Helena. Annette Bening was speedily replaced with Michelle Pfeiffer after being originally billed for the part of Catwoman. She was all scheduled for the part until she became pregnant. Bruce Wayne and his sidekick were accused of having a more than friends relationship by psychiatrist Dr. Frederick Wortham in the 1950s, who believed the two were romantically involved. Dick Grayson is the real name of Batman's right-hand man, Robin. He didn't actually hit the Gotham-based comic world until issue number 38. At the Canadian University of Victoria, you can enroll onto a course designed to explore the life of Batman. The course is called The Science of Batman. Due to the Batmobile's very low styling, the ears of Batman's original outfit weren't able to fit inside the vehicle. The masks were all remade to ensure they didn't have the same problem, and the films continued. The Little Shop of Horrors props made it onto the set of Batman. The dental tools used in the 1986 version of the musical were actually used for the Joker's face. A bill of $1 million was raised to ensure real penguins could be used in the filming of Batman Returns. This was spent on cooling, food, accommodation and shipment. <laughs>